Hi Virgo, Narai here. I am going to do a quick reading for you guys. Happy New Year to all of you. If you've never seen me do a reading before, welcome to my channel. My name is Narai. I go by Nay. And we are going to see what messages Spirit might have for you today. So, please like, share, and subscribe. If you are watching and the tables are reversed and you are a cross watcher, it is okay to flip the rolls. I don't have a problem with it. All right, so let's get started. Messages and guidance for Virgo, please. Messages and guidance for the sign of Virgo. Any guidance or information you have for the sign of Virgo, please and thank you. Messages and guidance for the sign of Virgo. My readings today have been quickies, so they have been 15 minutes or less. So, I looked at the bottom of the deck. So what we have here, let me dim my screen. What we have here is the full card. This is taking a leap of faith. This is in regards to being excited about something. This is having childlike wonder, being adventurous. This is not necessarily knowing all the answers, but being ready to go on a new path, a new journey. Some sort of fresh beginning. Messages for Virgo. Messages and guidance for the sign of Virgo. Messages and guidance for the sign of Virgo, please. Messages. I feel that one. Oh yeah, some of you are waiting for your ships to sail in. You're at a milestone, you're in a period of growth. And you're looking out there and you're seeing that there's so much more out there that the world has to offer. You're expanding your horizons. Some of you guys are getting your confidence back. Oh my goodness, and what do you see out there when you're looking to see what else is out there in the vast world? Stability, possible marriage. This is known as the marriage card. This has to do with coming together. This has to do with a sense of belonging, friends and family, community, some sort of celebration. I love it. It has 1111 on there, so look that up. And 11 plus 11 is 4. 4 is the number of stability. Messages and guidance for the sign of Virgo, please. Oh my gosh, what is up with Earth sign readings this evening? I mean, today it's great. That stability could lead to a legacy. Happy family. Oh my gosh. It's leaving a legacy behind. Dynasty. This is inheritance. This is like generational wealth. Some of you might actually be doing something like YouTube and building up a, a safety nest for your family and your children. That way when you're not no longer here, when you're no longer here, your kids are taken care of. Your family is taken care of. This is... Um, this is long-term success. This is also investing in yourself long-term. Man. Earth signs are lit today. The Taurus and Capricorn reading. Messages for Virgo. Spirit messages for Virgo. <laughs> messages and guidance for the sign of Virgo. 
Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. I'm claiming all the earth sign uh, readings that I've done today. They've got to be somewhere in my chart. I just pulled the Ace of Pentacles. This is in regards to stability, prosperity, a possible new job, a material offer. Oh my gosh. New opportunities, opportunities to make money on YouTube. Hello. Messages and guidance. I'm going to say this. If you needed somebody to tell you, yes, it's a great idea, go ahead and move forward with it. I am here to tell you, I, nay, am here to tell you, watch her, yes, it's a good idea. Go ahead and go through with it. Messages for Virgos, spiritual guidance and messages for Virgo, please. Messages. Messages and guidance for the sign of Virgo. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. These earth readings today have all been great. Okay, Spirit, come on now. Yes, so I needed to tell you that yes, if you need somebody to tell you to move forward with it, to go ahead, why do I say that? Because some of you have been lazy in this Page of Pentacles energy in reverse. Some of you have not been performing, excuse me, you have not worked towards your goal. It's a lack of progress. You guys are missing chances that are right in front of your face when it comes to financial opportunities and you're not taking it. Earth sign, wake up, earth sign. Come on now, you guys are sleeping on yourselves. Messages for Virgo spirit, please. Messages and guidance for the sign of Virgo. Thank you. <sighs> if this death card is not a sign, I don't know what is. This is a spiritual, this is a symbolic death. This is like a spiritual awakening. This is a new beginning. This is a sign to let certain things go and start anew. Oh my gosh. It's time to move forward. My goodness. This is a release and a time to start new. I think this newness has to do with focusing on your, your pentacles. I have the Hierophant. Some of you might be looking towards spirituality right now, but I feel like for a lot of you, your mindset needs to change and it may need to change in regards to finances. I think what it is, is it has to do with your belief and what you think you deserve when it comes to money and what you think you can achieve when it comes to money. I cannot believe. This stability for this marriage card, I think this is all about financial stability and your finances might need to be in order before you're ready for that relationship, possibly. I don't know, I'm just saying it's a possibility. But it's like this whole reading has to do with money. Unless I pull the lover's card or something like that. 
messages for Virgo, please. Messages and guidance for a sign of Virgo. I feel like that's it. Maybe I'll get the judgment card for the awakening, a wake up call. That would make this reading amazing. Messages. Oh, this is all after you got deceived. You guys had some sort of painful ending. I'm sorry, Virgo. But it's like this is an opportunity for you to pick up the pieces and focus on yourself and your money because you can be successful if you take a leap of faith. You don't need that person to start. Eight of Pentacles. This is the Mastering Your Craft card. This is my Mastering Yourself card. This is hard work and skill development. There might be something that you're interested in doing and you need to go ahead and entertain that. You need to raise your standards. You need to be committed to yourself and whatever it is you're trying to accomplish or learn the skill. Oof. Yeah, I just pulled three cards. Okay, one moment. Here's the Queen of Swords. This is about direct communication, standing in your truth, being honest, being wise, making a head over heart decision, having clear, clear, clear communication, being logical. This is about you guys being independent. It is also about fairness. I feel like this past situation was not fair to you. I have the Nine of Swords. This past situation had you guys in depression and anxiety, a lot of sadness and grief. It's You guys were overthinking, had a lot of negativity. A lot of negativity. You guys are afraid. Some of you are afraid of not being successful. There's some sort of it, there's some sort of venture you want to go on that can help you be financially stable and for some reason you're scared of failure. You know what's worse than failure? Not even trying. Not even trying. So, I'm in that Queen of Swords energy or yeah, Queen of Pentacles energy right now for you guys. Just pull that card and this is when I see this, of course, this person is nurturing. This card symbolizes a working parent, somebody practical. But when I see this, I see somebody that is grounded and that is all about making sure she's stable and grounded and focusing on her money. And also, if somebody comes into this, this queen of pentacles life, male or female, doesn't matter. It's just energy. She's going to be like, whoa, if you're not on the same page as me and this is not an equal give and take, I don't have room for you in my life. I'm focused on my money now and I'm focused on the things that I need because I'm putting myself first for a change. Messages for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. Messages and guidance for Virgo, please. Oh, yeah. This is all about you putting yourself first and loving yourself. This is also emotional fulfillment. This is love. This is a new emotional opportunity, a new emotion, a, a new emotion. This is love for what you do. There's something you guys do that will not feel like work and you're afraid to move forward on it. You guys need to take this step, this leap of faith and do the work that you have the passion for, the thing that doesn't feel like work that you're talented at, that you're suppressing because you're afraid of failure. 
oh my God, because this will make you happy, the sun card. This will make you happy and bring you so much joy, a lot of warmth within you. Oh my gosh, this will boost your confidence. This will change your life in such a positive way and bring you ultimate happiness. And you know this is the truth. Hermit, Spirit is saying take some time to look within because you have the answers. This is the lesson card. Saturn is the planet of lessons. Look at everything that's happened in your life. Spirit is saying, do something different. Take this leap of faith. Work on this thing that can make you successful because you will be successful. But first you have to try. And Spirit is saying, you're strong enough. I am done. The strength card. You are strong enough. Some, some of you don't think you're strong enough to get past whatever this past situation was or to do this. And you can. Boom. All right, Virgo. My name is Narai. Call me Nay. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Oh, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.